expecting to see as our grant application. However, because of the compensation and classification study that's going on, we don't have an exact figure as far as salaries go. And that's going to present an issue for us if we don't get it prior to January, or the end of January, rather, because we have to have this grant application submitted by February 1st. So um, I'd like to talk to the Accountant Finance Committee about a couple of the um, items including this, one being salaries and wages, and the second being the capital um, projects that are included in the bottom section of that spreadsheet. Okay, I'll, I'll definitely refer this to the Accountant Finance. Here's the point. We don't pay the bus driver a whole lot. And last year we raised the salary of all of our wonderful driver license drivers. You did, didn't you? Truck, dump trucks. I think 15 bucks an hour minimum. Does that include bass people? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No. Because if you remember last good. year, the same thing. Josh asked me, give me guidance. And I said, I'm going to ask council for 3%. But they got a 3% raise because he submits his way in advance of our budget. Process. Right. So in speaking with uh, Mr. Miller and with Josh, in fairness, I think they're looking at what we did for the... The CDL drivers to the rest of the town, and I told Mr. Miller and Josh at the time, this is a budget process. But if we had that expectation, we need to ask now, even if your council chooses not to do it. But the state and fed money won't come will that, in. As well. Will that increase hurt some bus drivers being that they're retired? It could, and it, it will could. send them over limits as it to may. what they can work. They may have to reach more than hours. One that okay. he's spoken about about that, but I don't think it's going to affect everybody. But I know about gotcha. one. Okay. Well, if that number, these two highlighted numbers there at the bottom of the FY twenty one application, um, those are numbers of the local match, including this. Especially represents a fourteen dollar an hour average for the drivers, and an inflated number for salaries. So that's. That's reasonably what I'm expecting to see as a local match. So you're looking at an additional from in, increase from this year, this past year, additional what, twelve thousand dollars total? <coughs> Roughly. Um, last so year. That's for the fast C bus and the Blackstone bus. Correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. Where's the fast C bus going to go again? I know we had talked about Nottoway Commons one time. Where's the, where's where's the from the fast C facility to downtown? Well, we're referring back to the um, study that was done by DRPT. <coughs> they hired a firm to do that, and they're. Um, recommendation was to go down to the main gates where Nottoway Commons is, all the way down to the Leisure Center, and then to downtown in, uh, as far as Walmart and Food Line. And when you say the Leisure Center, is that on Fast Seat property or is that? That's, another that's thing. LRA property. That's no, the guard. So it's not technically a Fast Seat bus, I guess you'd Not say. right now. Um, the, the study that was done did not have the Fast Seat project area in it, but we're expecting next year to include more into that. Okay. As you know, new developments happen and um, the base is 100% up and running. That's partly because the Fast C folks in the study were not um, expected to use the service because they're not going to be not here. Here, but so. now if you make a game changer, we might want to look at a bus. I mean, I know that's not a long walk, but if, right now the bird in hand right now appears to be VMAC. so we might want to have some sort of bus system project. that yeah it's or future planning anyways. Yeah, it's it's leading the pack right now. It's I think there's other projects on the horizon as well. Um, not only ones that are already under construction, but some that have been submitted and are already rezoned, um, uh, multifamily type projects. And so, uh, you know, you saw the one up there on Dillon Street. Um, the one on 2nd Street is under construction. Few men potentially. There's additional ones in the East End. That's uh, what we got through the day walking. That's yeah. what they were surveying. So, so uh, um, we'll have to be flexible. And that's in our radar. Our goal is to fill the bus up today. Very good. And the fare is now a dollar. Is it a dollar? Is it a dollar? Not for Fast C, it's 50 cents. 50 cents for Fast C. Fa uh, Blackstone and Fast C are 50 cents. 50 the rest cents. of them are a dollar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions for the budget or anything on the bus? We'll refer the proposed increased bus driver's pay to the finance. Uh, certainly. Thank you very much. Thank you, Josh. Um, I have no committee referrals since the town manager has any he wants me to refer. We've done that tonight. Under Mayor's Minute, I just want to announce that our a historical marker for the birthplace of the Virginia Tech fight song was approved in Richmond last Thursday morning. I was supposed to go. I couldn't go, and I got an email that they approved it anyway, so saved a little gas money there, and uh, I want to thank council for its support of that project. Um, that's all I've got, folks. I had, thought I had something else I want to bring up. Was there, you had asked about a budget for that up to so much, did, have we? Yeah, Mr. Nash made a motion to spend up to $1,800, which will, uh, up to 2000 which will cover it. Have it's like eighteen. Paid, so no, nothing has been paid. They, they are ordering the marker, and a, a bill will come back to Blackstone. They are interested when we have a ceremony. I told them, I said, well, where the marker is going to be put <laughs> is the high traffic area of Blackstone. would not be a good ser uh, place to have a ceremony, but springtime we can talk about that. You know, maybe the tavern or here at a council meeting. We can just unveil it. Um, but I thank you all for your support of that. And... Uh,
Any, this is go, go to the second part. Uh, any citizen comments here? Anyone who'd like to speak who has not spoken tonight? I see Miss Beverly Ams. This has nothing to do with the parade. <laughs> All right. Well, I was uh, asked by one of our businesses downtown, why don't we have benches or bus stops for Babs? Downtown. Yeah. Because right now, um, there's an issue in front of one of the businesses that uh, people have to stand and it's blocking their sign partially okay. um, and wait for Babs to come through. And they wondered if there could be a bench put so that those people didn't have to stand and could sit. Could they stop at the town square? We got benches at the square. Would the town square be a place we could have a stop? Is, that's part of this. <coughs> is there a bus? It's down the route. Oh, okay. I was about to say, is there, where's the route go? It, the, really, the only place it is on Main Street is where it comes off the tavern. It goes to the metal center and goes around, and then it crosses on, I believe it's Broad Street, across Main Street. It doesn't really go on Main Street. So if it's the business I'm thinking of, we've already um, had a conversation with them. We're looking at, and that's part of the capital stuff that's in this budget, we're looking at moving some stuff around and replacing some stuff and adding um, shelters. So that's on the agenda. If okay. It's, if it's Good. Right. They'll be glad to hear that. Well, we got one Did at the medical center, which is our that? building. We I got... spoke to somebody who knows it. Okay. So it's, okay. it's on my radar. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Good. I was over there today, and they were like, could you please? All right. <laughs> Absolutely. But we do have a place on North Main Street, the medical center. That's, yes. that's a, yes. so yes. What, if, what about by the, war, the, uh, the Rotary Club or now the town's war monument that the Rotary Club unveiled at the Cross from Classic Grill? Would that be a possible place? The issue there is going to be how much right away do we have? Because okay. we have to put it on concrete, and we can't obstruct the sidewalk. Understood. Okay. And the only other one, it's not in town, but the Rotary Club constructed one last year down at Coal Harbor. Correct. Very nice shelter. All right, good point. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ames. Anyone else tonight? One item. Yes. Very quickly, okay. Yvonne wanted to mention something to you. Yes. And while she's getting up, Max sent me an email wanting to know if the town can come winterize the armory. And I told him I would ask you guys to make sure it's okay for Andre to go there and spend a half hour or however long it takes. You need a motion? So Mr. Nash has moved to winterize the armory. Is there a second? second? Ms. Thompson is second. Any further discussion? <coughs> All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Opposed? Motion carries 7-0. 7-0. Sure the water doesn't freeze. Doesn't freeze. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I'm not putting no All right. with, I got a basketball game. All right. Yvonne, what can we do for you? Um, just wanted to go back to in reference to the East End, because we have phase two that we are working on, and just wanted to let the council know that we will be planning a public hearing um, January and March, and we'll, we'll also be planning a community event in January because we have to get our surveys and get the information we need from the residents for phase two. So I just wanted to make you all aware that we are working on that. That information came in after our packets have been. Thank you for the update. Thank you for all your hard work on a variety of fronts. We're going to wait till the first of the year, right? <coughs> we're going to wait till the first of the year before we have all these meetings, right? Yes. Okay. It's, it's definitely, we're in full blown Christmas right now, pretty much. The, uh, it, any questions or any other concerns? Oh, you want to pass? We did there, aren't we? Yes, Mr. Dan. The Just run it by. It's been some emails tossed around, and it's been a lot of talk, obviously, with the parade. But there's been a lot of talk of the donations that we've given in the past two years to the chamber yeah mm -hmm. what where are they what remains of what was i think we got them a check last year for 750 dollars and yes they didn't have the parade this year it was approached to me and i think there was a banner that had to be modified and i asked it, uh, st the staff asked me and i said well just let them keep it at this point and they can apply towards i think replacing the banner yeah the ba i'll say the banner did look good the banner did look good <coughs> Uh, but Mr. Nash, you know, it's funny, I should have caught this last year. We did give money for a parade that didn't exist, and it didn't happen. Um, I, I mean, nothing against the chamber by no means, Bev. But <laughs> I just, we're catching a lot of slack on our end from just throwing money out and not getting anything for it. Right. Which is no fault to the, it's weather. We can't do anything about it. Right. Um, I mean, at least, I guess, what was remaining from after the banner, which our stipulation was for to be used for bands, but I think it should be returned. I just gave the bill for the banner to Jennifer. How much was it? $425. Okay, okay. Well, maybe just a, just a thought, not to... 
possibly we're going to incur some overtime expenses this coming Friday if the, if the parade goes forward. Yeah. Maybe somehow that money could be, you know, could help, the, what's left over could be used to help pay the overtime. Um, in the scheme of things, it's a drop in the bucket, but it is a principal. And I like said it was, and that's what we hear. Right, people are saying, "Oh, you paid seven hundred fifty dollars for nothing." There, there was definitely disappointment, but hey, it looks like we're going to have something Friday, and that's right, and it will pan out and do fine. Absolutely. So. Anything else to come before the for the good of the cause, Madam Clerk? You've had quite a night tonight, Madam Clerk. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing, while we're on video and some of the public are here, as a reminder, next week for the holidays, there will only be one day. Of trash pickup, whatever day yours, you're only going to get one pickup. Will be closed Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday next week for Christmas. So Monday and Friday will be the only two trash day pickups. Just letting y'all know now. But you've got that wonderful Route 46 dumpster that. Never. <laughs> <laughs> are we having a lunch and fired employees? We are. We are. Uh, we've seen the Jennifer produce a uh, invitation. It is Friday at lunch. This Friday. Okay. Okay. Please Very keep good. doing it. Okay. All employees know. I mean, so they don't take off that day and miss oh, out no, on trying to get the hand. Some of them said, I'm going Christmas shopping. I'm going to be available. I want to thank everybody here for a good year. We've had our moments. Uh, 2020 is going to even be more lively. Um, but I want to thank everybody here and staff. Uh, anything else before we adjourn? Way earlier than I thought we'd adjourn. I'm going to adjourn this meeting at uh, 936. Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas.